Hello everybody and welcome back to Control Part 7. Um, the last time we played we went and got all of the uh, black rock that we needed. Anyway, um, yeah, we went and got the black rock to fix the HRA and um, we, uh, we came across a bunch of shit. We found out more about Dylan, our brother, who, uh, yeah, is, uh, here in the facility. So, linguistic ability. Uh, researchers were sent to just transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no distinction between the repeating phrase and one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities have been observed. What is the purpose of this repeated string of words? Is this how Hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand re uh, uh, recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio record, which I don't have. We got that security order, yeah. Um, okay, so there seems to be nothing else around here. Um, yeah, find Dylan. We don't have charge yet, but we'll talk to Emily. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Mm, yeah. No I saw knows. that mold. I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Yeah, we're going to be going there. So. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, Black Rock. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Black Rock? The Bureau has used Black Rock almost exclusively for containment <coughs> purposes. I say... Branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? <laughs> yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Emily's kind of a psychopath. Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I'm a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. So the found, uh, so basically the uh, the bureau is not like the SCP Foundation. They like to use actual weapons, and they have they have full blown teams that have like special weapons specifically for shit. So, uh, Arish. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right. This place is a fortress. With him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. And in theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. In Emily's case, probably a good amount. How is HRA production coming? <laughs> Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. All right, well. I should be <clears throat> So yeah, we we did see that mold earlier, oh, and we kind of went down there, um, but that shit was kicking our ass. Executive is in the process of being fortified as per your orders. Maintenance is relatively stable. So All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll we'll take a look around. Um, you know the uh, we got that already. We'll take a look around. Um, you know all this area to see if there's anything that we missed any doors and stuff that we can unlock because then we can go and get stuff like this America overnight results 
Uh, the America Overnight program has operated successfully for over blank years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, Overnight America alerted the Bureau of Blank and Blank in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrences analysis. The more blank results of Night Springs have also been cataloged into a separate report. Ah, yes, yeah, so uh, Night Springs, the, uh, the show that is in Alan Wake. Um, if you've played Alan Wake, you'll know all about the Night Springs uh, stuff because you get to listen to a few of them. It's kind of like a Twilight Zone uh, parody. Well, I wouldn't say parody, but like a Twilight Zone um, replica in the Alan Wake universe. Okay, so here's the fucking jukebox still. Um, still can't get in here. I have a feeling we will at some point, though. I like how this, like, has its own little, like, hallway, its own little containment. No hiss followed you in, right? No hiss followed me in. Well, you would, I think you'd probably know if, if hiss followed me in. Alright, we've got a bunch of desks and stuff over here. Big old Black Rock uh, disc. Big old HRA disc there. Okay. There's nothing else in the shelter, is there? Oh, there's a guy in here. Hello, sir. Don't oh, there's a couple guys in here. Oh, don't let me disturb you. Okay, so now we'll go upstairs and we'll. Those things are killing our buddies while we babysit the execs. Take a poke around, just make sure we didn't miss anything. All right, executive affairs. We also have this radio in here as well. Oh, another file here. Pope's promotion. Uh, Dr. Darling has personally com uh, recommended Miss Pope for promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See res research reports blank for breakthroughs resulting from her work. Recommendation. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, uh, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this uh, recommendation and promotes Ms. Pope to the position of research specialist. Very good, very good. Oh, what's this over here? Ah. Collective unconsciousness. Or unconscious. Uh, collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Jung Report, page 12-34. The, uh, through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our sp uh, species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is blank in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of blank ex uh, excluded, uh, exuded is attracted... Uh, to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of blank. Theoretically, places of power could likely be formed by the simple power of a sustained collective belief. So, kind of like, uh, things are created by dreams, in a sense, as well. I mean, that makes sense. Given the, uh... Given everything. So here's my office. Uh, we got a level four door here. Oh, oh, oh my fucking god! Post-it notes, 
everywhere. Oh yeah, this is great. Here we go. What do we got? Sticky note complaint. To whom it may concern, in case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or at home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. Wow. That's pretty funny. So, it's like a... It's a... Oh, we got a spin mod. It's basically like an object of power that's a sticky note that, like, replicates. It's pretty funny. But which one is the original? Which one's the one that replicates? It's just every part of its cover. That's great. Oh, no. Now the... Now the door's open. I've let them out. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I wonder if it'll spread over time. Oh, God. What if I... What have I fucking done? Okay, the door's closed, but that's still really funny. Okay, so... My office is here. Still have these. Whole areas right here, which are clear. We were in here already. We're also in here. Let me just stop by my office real quick, just to... Make sure there's nothing else, okay. So that leads to the hotline. Um, I wonder if this is gonna, this, this leads to something I think, well, maybe not. Oh yeah, we're going back here. Okay, so. Executive affairs. Oh, there's the sticky note room there. There's a jukebox. I didn't even notice the sticky note room. I'm sure some guys will pop up in here somewhere, right? Alright. This is just another bathroom. We got this. in here okay well I think that all of this part is clear so all of the director's office to executive affairs is clear Like I said, I think that this for this part, I think we're going to spend the time to basically kind of go around these other areas and kind of collect everything that we've got. I know that there was a level 6. The fuck is that at? Uh, anyway, uh, what did we get here? Oh, another... Ooh, that was 19 of accuracy. Nice. We'll switch that up. No, I want missions. Ah, uh, the power plant. His nodes. Hotline chamber. Okay, so... So this leads to the mail room. Um... Is 
originally when we came up. Got that. There we go. Bodies! My minion. Kill people with your rocket. Kill each other. I love that. I love being able to pick up dudes now. Goodbye. I know that there's So, um, yeah, there's always guys in here. So, control point here. This over here is dead letters and communication. Okay, so we'll go. Do that, but first. Anything else up here that I might have missed? This up here is this. Still don't know how to get rid of this. Huh. Okay, so we'll still have to remember this hallway here. This is the communications, uh, like, this is that weird room. It's blocked off now.
Okay. I have these areas where it leads to dead letters, right? We also got that. I know there's one shelter that we don't have. So this was pneumatics. I s thought maybe there was something in here, but I can't remember. Aha, there is. Alright, we have this in here. Health, health boost. Okay. Just trying to remember where there's like certain things. I think that's probably it for pneumatics. Yeah. Okay, so then we head back to dead letters here. Bye. Oh, this is for the floppy disk. A whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Wow. I've launched whole ass sides of walls, bud. There we go. Well, one time we even launched a cup. Okay, well, we have. Oops, let me do that. This over here. Level two door. Fake.
airplanes. Dear New York Tribune, this is a dead letter. Uh, airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could fly to us better. Don't contact me. <laughs> okay. That's a good, that's a good crazy one. What was the uh, one that we had? Oh, that's level three. It's a 27, so... Don't need it. Recoil minus 11. Uh... That's for shatter. Oh, then this is that... Yeah, floppy disk. Alright, so... Oh yeah, this was a TV. Sh that was a the TV show. Oh, there's another note in here we didn't get. Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of op uh, opinions. Uh, people tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Yep. I mean, that one's better. That one's more believable than the fucking planes thing. The guy was the guy with the planes. That guy is a real wackadoo. One hundred percent wackadoo. Really? Who's the other guy? Fuck you, bud. Your friend is here to see you. Bye-bye. out all of dead letters as well so I think we're good on this front so we can head back through the cafeteria here I don't know if there's anything Oh yeah, this has the one that I can't enter.
I wonder if I deal with the mold if I'll deal with that. This just is blocked off to communications. It's blocked off to central executive. And then of course we still have this red area over here. That we can't go into. Okay. And then, yeah, this leads back to this, which we went into, and back to Central Executive. Bada bing. Okay, so now we can. I wonder if other species will verbalize the hiss resonance like human hosts do. In here? No. Okay. Welcome back. So now we can head. So there's containment, of course. Now let's head to the research sector here. Because we can do the mission for the mold. If we can survive, that is, hopefully. So, let's see, personal mod, uh, dodge, fist and CS7, okay, we'll get rid of that. Yes. Okay, Dr. Underhill. Mr. Underhill, fancy seeing you here. Okay, so this leads to the HRA lab. Trying to test our code breaking skills. And we've gone up there and everything, so we're good on that. Son of a bitch. Okay, so in here, there was this, which I can't get to. I think it's like a, I need a double jump. I think maybe that's what it is. It's like a, some kind of a double jump. Okay, and this is down to here. We know that this is all just these, just these labs, basically. So the ritual division. We went in there. There's a ritual office up here. I don't know if there was any locked doors up here or anything. Let me just check just to be sure. Cause I wanna try to I wanna try to get in my head what is going to be the things that we have left that we cannot access because we either don't have a power or a key card to do so. We're level five, so we can essentially access everything. There was that one level six door that we're not able to access. Um, I don't even remember that was. Uh oh. Uh, we have an invisible dude. One of those guys. There he is. Damn, he did a lot of fucking damage. Hello? Oh. Well, 
Well, I'm still alive. Somehow. Whoa, bud. See ya. Whoa. Ah, Jesus. Getting killed because I'm fucking around. Okay, so... Well, might as well fucking head back down there. Fucking fall. You fight for me now, buddy. Fucking hit him! Jesus. Oh shit.
Whew, okay. Let's just like stop here real quick. Synchronicity lab. Let's go over here. Really, we're just kind of checking for doors. For if you like, if you're really wondering why we're doing this. Plus for like any areas that I can remember that I can't really access. Okay, so we can't get through here to central research through, through here. We have to go around, so let's go up through here. Luck and probability. This is where what's her face was to begin with. The lady with the big gun. And all this stuff was just the luck stuff. I took the four leaf clover, I thought. So the level 6 door that I can't get in... Oh no, this is level 5. I thought this was the level 6 door. There we go. Um, okay. Is that the light? What the, where the hell is that coming from? What the fuck is going on here? It's like little green lights that just like... Put the four-leaf clover there. Do I have to engage all of these? Elephant? Cat? Horseshoe? Oh, what is this? It's like a puzzle for something. Lucky item manifest. Uh, bronze koi fish from China attracts abundance and wealth, feng, uh, feng shui. Horseshoe from Ireland. Wards off evil, orientation important. Heals up allows luck to be kept. Heals down, luck flows outward. Maneki Neko, Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four Leaf Clover, Ireland. Shamrock, rare plant variation. Connections to dru uh, druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. Uh, light bulbs, various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note, effects of each of items to be tested. Consider investigating the orientation of horseshoe. Also consider positioning of feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. For more information on ritual use, lucky actions to perform and avoid relevance of OCD behavior. Uh, okay. So, this has got to be something. Okay, um, wait, so, the, the shamrock is good, the light bulb is good, elephant, where's the elephant?
Do we want that horseshoe upside down? So here's the elephant. So we want to stand like this. I'm not really too sure what I'm. Wait, the chips are gone. Oh, I know they're not. Totally confused. Uh, what? Oh, God. I'm guessing we're supposed to get the luck up as much as possible. How do we do this? There is a guide for it. Okay, so this this light is on. This light is on. This light is on. And this light is on. Okay, we want the horseshoe to be pointing upwards. None of the Newton's cradles to be moving. Okay. Look at the lucky cat statue is waving and pick the four leaf clover, plant it near the roulette wheel. The goldfish statue to the roulette wheel using launch and place on the red carpet. Oh. Place on the red carpet. Let's just give it a kick over there. There we go. Make sure the chips are on seven. Yes. Okay. Spin the thing and then get off the red carpet. Hey, there it is, and we got a suit! Oh, 
hello. Oh, that's fucking tight. We did something. We did something. Oh shit, I finally got another fucking outfit, bro. Finally. Okay, well now that we're moving through here, the next uh, control point that we come to... Oh boy. If we fucking survive... big fucking bitch. I know you're here because all the objects are floating around you. Oh, cool. We have some here. Okay, sweet. So, we got two ability points as well. That's cool. Okay, that's a three. That's a four. That's two. That's two. Launch 50% launch damage. Launch large enemies when their health is low. Oh, that's pretty sick. We do have this like shield, but I really haven't used it. I know I should probably use it more, but use evade to rush enemies, knock them back. Seize duration. Uh, let's do launch damage. Because, you know, that's always good. Oh, one more one more till we get another personnel slot. Oh, yeah, my suit. Oh, what does this look like? Where is the where is the outfits? Was it only in the executive one? Okay, so where are we now? We're in central research. So let me go to Central executive real quick. So we can get that. I want to definitely want to wear something different. It said golden. Is it just a pure gold? This is a purely golden suit. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Now I look... Oh, I look so professional. Look at this. I look super legit now. I don't look like a just a woman who walked into this dumb place. I still want to know how to get the other outfits. Because we have the golden suit. There's like a lot of them though. that. There's the asynchronous suit, the director suit, uh, so you get the director suit after the last mission. Janitor's outfit. I don't really care about that one. Oh, there's a, the P7 outfit. That's not till later. Office assistant. That's after last mission. Expedition gear. Oh, okay. So you have to to unlock the expedition gear. You have to complete a tier three expedition by using the jukebox 
uh, after and completing a tier one and tier two expedition first. I wonder how to get those. See, in the pre-order suits, the the ones for PS4, you don't get those in this. The tactical response gear and the urban response gear, you don't get those in this. Which is kind of a shame, but I am happy with this. We're finally, we finally have a different outfit. I'm finally happy with something that is not a piece of garbage. Uh, I mean, it's not garbage, but it's like, you know, it's... I was just so tired of wearing the same outfit. This is really nice. I love this. This looks fucking great. I just, I, I know that there's like plenty of outfits and everything, and like I really wanted one. Okay, so parapsychology. Oh, so it's like, it's just because we're up here. Okay, so we'll take the elevator down. Finally, I look so badass. I mean, it's like, it's very much like yellow rather than gold, but I mean, at least, at least I mean, I'm colorblind, so it's hard for me to tell, but uh, my favorite color is yellow, so I love the look of this. Okay, so, this is the other, like, end of everything. Um... This kind of like led around. Let's go check over here. Remember this leading around. We got a big one. Come on, floaty. Oh shit. Bye. Oh yeah, there we go. those fuckers apart on that one. Oh damn, we got a lot of stuff too. Maintenance, major targets. Yeah, you know, with those popping up, I feel like those are kind of like a hey, uh, would you like to continue playing the game even after you've, you've completed it? Alright, so... Go through here. Board counters, is anything else? It's all executive sector stuff. <clears throat> We're still at level five though, which is cool. Um mods level three. Oh, what was this? Oh yeah, the entropic echo. I wonder that's probably down in the containment sector. Okay, there was this Venn diagram, this not Venn diagram of model. We already have this. Okay, this is that. Oh, yeah, it just closes the door. And this was that area with the thing. Yeah, 
man. We look really cool. I'm so happy with this. Existentiary lab. Which we looked in. This was that one where they had those sleep, those deprivation tanks. Is what that was. With all the yeah, all the cards here for psychics. Oh, and there's something up here as well. Never saw that. Hey. I'll take it, you know. Oh, Pierce Zoom Boost? Ooh, we got something really good. Let me see here. So this is a launch energy cost is 13. That one's 11. We'll get rid of that one. What is this one? 13. Um, oh, and we have evade energy cost 10. Uh, and then these are the same, so we'll just get rid of one. Okay, zoom, 12, we can get rid of that. Uh, that's, we have the level 5 of that, the rate of fire, 36. Oh, that's zoom as well. You know, we're going to get rid of that, it's totally fine. Uh, grip has this, damage against armor. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, yeah, ammo cost per shot. Oh, this one's negative 5. This one's minus 5. This one's minus 6%. How is this one better? What? Or is that, like... I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's alright. Doesn't bother, doesn't bother me none. Accuracy for spin... Okay. All right. These were where the astral knots uh, debrief and get all their bad memories out of their head and shit. This was the. This is his hypnosis thing. in here. Is that Newton's Cradle? Oh yeah, this is where we found that thing at. That, uh, the x-ray machine. We played that. Got that box up there. That's where that brain was, dissected brain. And then this, which leads back down here. Okay, so we've cleared all that out. That leads back into here. If we've done everything here, there's the moldy. This is the top here. What about if we go up? Let's go up to the very top. I don't remember if there was anything up here. Come on, you chair float fuck. Oh, really? You're gonna throw shit at me? You fucking giant chair? Oh, great, it's this guy. Uh oh. 
guy's a named dude. Got him. There we go. Hidden trend, astral blips. Nice. Okay, so Dr. Darling's office. We think we got everything up in here. We got that. We got that one that's playing currently. And this was dimensional research, because this is... This is the ashtray maze, which we can't go into right now, I don't believe. Because it's just like it'll loop us, we're not like worthy of doing it thus far. Cause yeah, that le it leads to dimension research. I mean, you can see the redacted, like all the way over there. See all that shit, all the redacted there. That's all past the ashtray maze. So we're obviously gonna have to be going there at some point. Yes, woo woo. this uh, this area just breaking shit now this is the elevator and the lead back to HRA lab and the blocked off uh, ritual division I wonder if those will eventually clear, where you just get to a point where you can, like... Did I check the shelter? I'm sure I did, just making sure. Oh no! I did not! Oh, what do you know? Uh, emergency call summary. Uh, a possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporal reality via a phone line. Event is notably similar to AWE blank in which all that's redacted. Event is believed to have been caused by yada yada and a result of the following measures have been taken to prevent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Well, that was completely useless. But, adds to the file list nonetheless. Okay, we've come out of there. Cafeteria. Um, and back here we have stairs. I, ch I think I checked this one though. Yes. These steps. Okay, those are still up around there. I don't know if I came here. 
Oh, what is this? We didn't come down here. Song questionnaire. Auditory experience 84C. Poets of the Fall. <laughs> oh, great. Here we go. Poets of the Fall. Good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Poets of the Fall, they are banned uh, from F Finland. Um, and they, uh, they've done a lot of like music stuff for uh, Remedy over the years. Um, the head of Remedy, he, he, him and the band are friends. Um, and they, uh, they did, uh, they did the, uh, Children of the Elder Gods, uh, stuff for Alan Wake. Um, like, and, and they did, uh, um, some stuff for a couple of the other games as well. Uh, they, but they, most notably, uh, they, they were, you know, they did the Children of the Elder God uh, stuff for Alan Wake, which was there's like three songs specifically, um, the uh, the poet and the whatever I can't remember the t the three songs, but there was one for the Alan Wake American Nightmare. There was two done for Alan Wake. Um, they're a great band though. They have a lot of great songs. Uh, I think they're actually working on a new album uh, now. So, my dark disquiet. To uh, answer questions with the two minutes of listening, did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear in your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose from one of the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. Yep, that's... Oh, look! It's the Ultraviolet album! There it is! Look at there, you go. Uh, yeah, so, uh, there's the, this is the, this is the vinyl. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and My Dark Disquiet is a, is a song off of Ultraviolet. Uh, wow, that's really cool. So yeah, this album came out around the time that Control actually came out, so. There you go, that's pretty neat. It's probably, they're probably gonna have a... A song in the credits, I wouldn't be surprised. Or, a song right now, that will... Speaking of which, there's the lyrics. Right there. Watch, this is gonna play the song, and I'm gonna get... Yeah. It's alright. I'll let you guys hear this a little bit. We won't play the whole song, it's just like five minutes long, but... I'm definitely gonna get us a, a fucking. I'm definitely gonna get a thing on the watch on Twitch. It's gonna happen. There you go. That's all I'm gonna let you guys listen to. I don't want to get. I don't want to get all of the audio flagged. Uh, but yeah, no, that's. Uh, can you actually hear it in here? Oh, it's, it's actually playing in here. There it goes again. Oh, no. Oh, copyright. Copyright. We're out of here. All right. So there you go. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of that. You'll hear that. Uh, you'll hear the... Uh, when we eventually end up playing Alan Wake, you'll actually hear the... Uh, the uh, songs... Um, from them in the... In that... Okay, we've done all the we've done both these bathrooms. That's definitely gonna get a copyright uh, block on the audio. Okay, so uh, back to the moldy mold. Do can we? You know what? We might want to actually swap. Oh yeah, I can bring the elevator up now. Um, we might want to actually swap between, uh, Spin and Pierce. Oh, Shield Strength? No. Good. Uh, let me see here. Rate of Fire? Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, I have one right here. Uh, it's this one's worth. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. Okay. Cause yeah, this is definitely gonna be. It's just it's like a long, long range. We uh, we definitely want to do that. So we got everything on the way down here. Um, we just never ended up. You know what? Maybe we should switch to spin and pierce. Let's try that. Spin for the up close, guys. Pierce for the long range fuckers. Okay, so... Let's see here. Oh, hello. There's guys down here now. I already have. Are you lost? Oh, you don't know who I am, do you? Mold threshold. Uh, so you want to know how my mold th uh, research is getting on, Casper? Uh, Casper, here it is. Microscopic organisms similar in appearance to blank construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold's the most prolific and durable organism I've ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to the yet unknown source as Mold-1. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Threshold Utility <coughs> Counter Essay Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Blank contains some glaring omissions that I must I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. Uh, if the blank creating the mold were reconfigured in their per uh, in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into blank. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Well, the mold, it's right. Underhill checking in. Hello, Raya. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life at the old FBC? I also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, and extremely intuitive, but I want to hear what you think of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together. Uh, could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can... You can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You were always a woman of focus. I always admire that about you. Talk soon, Casper. So they're on a first name basis. Ooh, can I get an eye wash? I cannot. Uh, anyway, hello. Uh, I am... Ooh, what do you got here? I am uh, the director, ma'am. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? Clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. I know, right? Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the bureau. Wait till she finds out who I am. this mold. Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. 
Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay, so what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. Ugh. I've made a list of the samples I need here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. So, collect five old samples for Dr. Underhill. <clears throat> Type A grows near fresh corpses, near toilets, near televisions, near staircases, near the pit. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. <laughs> I love how she's just letting her step over the line. A lot of, like, when you're, like, a boss, a lot of times they like doing this. They're like, let's see how far they'll dig themselves in this hole talking to the boss they don't know is the boss. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size. Simply staggering! So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? Check. Insulting my listening abilities. So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? <laughs> what do you know about the Hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these... these... Superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. I just love how she doesn't know who I am. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. I hate Why guard duty down here. This is nothing. Okay, so we have near, I mean, toilets. But I guess not this. Televisions. I'm guessing like it's not none of it's gonna be like in here. It's gonna all be like in the next area, perhaps. My family had black mold once. Okay, well, um, we're going to just, like, stop right here, and uh, we're going to resume uh, on the next part here in a minute. So take care, everybody, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care, and goodbye.